Good morning, Marcus Conti, former sanitation enforcement agent, plaintiff in Conti vs. DSNY, investigative journalist, incidental whistleblower, internet uh, fighter, sword fighter. <clears throat> so, um, you can't, it's, you can't, uh, you can, you can laugh at all my hats, but you can't laugh at this hat, because I'm going to tell you a story about this hat. This hat is all powerful. This is the most powerful hat in my collection. You know why? Because my grandmother, <clears throat> um, who was, as a kid, probably, you know, the greatest, you know, greatest person in my life, certainly, <clears throat> and, um, she knitted this hat with her. It was a hand, a hand, uh, made, uh, hat. Uh, she would be uh, probably over 100 years old right now, but uh, she died in, um, lived 90, lived till 96 years. So anyway, this is my grandmother's hat. And I want to just give a uh, background, so it's very powerful. Give a little uh, update on DSNY. It's going to be twofold. One, an update on DSNY stuff for the people that are following the story and don't want to listen to my political nonsense, my political... <laughs> Rants. So DSN, DS, Conti versus DSNY, right now we're in a holding pattern. The case is that the first uh, division appellate, first department appellate division in Manhattan, it's a an appeal to overturn the no probable cause decision issued by New York State Division of Human Rights. Right. So once we overturn that, the, the object is to get it either settled or thrown back into a, a lower court for a jury trial, right? So January 3rd, DSNY has till January 3rd to respond to my appeal, right? So you file an appeal, you do an incredible amount of, you know, jump through hoops to make that happen, then you file an appeal, and January 3rd, DSNY, they don't have to respond, but if they don't respond, then I win, right? So they will respond beef. Uh, before or on June 3rd, they'll, their lawyers are, you know, they play that game like they'll wait till the last minute. So we expect them to provide it. And then nine days later, I get to, re I get to respond to that. So it's again, holding patterns, calm before the storm, their answer, when they provide it to me, will I'll, I'll, uh, PDF file it and you'll be able to read their response, right? And hopefully, you know, we can get them to go on the record with the quote. If they don't, then they just they're just going to perpetuate the lie, and we have mountains of evidence to 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 debunk that, right? And then by June 12, I'll respond, and then I'll provide that response down below. So it's moving along. It's just a holding pattern. You have to, you know, time. You have to give time. So the other thing I want to so today, I want to, I'm going to. So now, if you're paying attention to the DSNY case, you could turn it off. Now I want to litigate something that um, that is kind of this is kind of uh, you know inside in, insider politics and uh, I want to talk about the possi the 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 theory of Trump versus Sanders uh, the war that never was and never will be okay so that that's the title of this right so look Trump Trump is uh, you know we watch the, the 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 Republicans pass their little you know their tax bill. Uh, yesterday and you know everybody's so excited about getting a little handout they might get a couple of, you know a hundred dollars maybe a thousand dollars back in in money uh in their tax money and that 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 makes america great again it makes america we're gonna make america great again right so that's what you wanted you wanted a little handout so you got your little handout right but meanwhile the corporations got a whopping you know 14 percent rip in their uh, tax uh, burden, and um, you know, 14% of money that they don't pay anyway. So, look, it what it's saying, what the tax bird, what the tax Republican tax plan is really saying is that we don't really care about taxes in this country. It's more about stimulating the economy and 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 um, and and patriotism to the country and and. Um, you know, and if you believe in the country, you'll contribute your tax money, and you'll you'll uh, reciprocate. And it's just a, it's a flawed idea. It's a flawed theory that corporations who are not people are going to do something like that. You have to hold them to the tax. You have to hold them to the tax law. That's all I'll say about that. There's there's unregulated tax 
regulations when it comes to corporations. When it comes to people, it's very regulated. You know, you work for a, for for an agency or a a, um, a corporation. And they they hold your money and they keep keep meticulous records of your money and then report how much money you make to the IRS and then you have to fight them to get that money back. Whereas corporations, they they take all of their uh, uh, tax money, the money that they hold for taxes, and then they park it offshore in Panama or in, in the Cayman Islands or in, in Luxembourg or in Ireland or wherever other, uh, any other tax haven that they can find. So that's what Trump, that's what Trump delivered on. That's what Trump is so proud about. And, and, uh, look, Trump versus Sanders, right? If you roll the tape back to 2016, we're going to, so let's just relitigate the the election for one minute, right? I don't believe. I want to be clear. I'm not. I'm not a supporter of the current version of Bernie Sanders. I believe Bernie Sanders had the message in 2016, and now I believe, in retrospect, that he not not even in retrospect, but right now I believe he is not the candidate, and and it would have been. Um, it, it it proves to be it it proves that he he wouldn't have been a good president because when when the pressure got really really tough right when the Democrats were stabbing him in the back and rigging the Democratic primary against him getting his his you know people trying to convince them to give money to Bernie and give money to down ticket ballots and launder that money back to Hillary Clinton when when there was no chance that Bernie Sanders could have become the Democratic candidate, that there was overt election fraud, meaning that the exit polling numbers didn't add up. There was a, there's a, a preponderance of circumstantial evidence that suggests that the the Democratic the Democratic election uh, Democratic primary was was rigged. Right? There's no doubt about it. And then we go one step further and we realize that to hide that fact that Bernie Sanders was the people's choice and clearly would have beaten Trump. We'll talk about that in a second. I know that pisses people off when you say you can't prove it, you can't prove it. Uh, Bernie Sanders would have been the next president of the United States if the Democrats would have supported him full throat, right? All the way, you know, all from state to state. If, if the decision was made to support Bernie Sanders as a candidate for pre Democratic president of the United States, Bernie Sanders would have, in fact, been the president. He would have won the Rust Belt. He would have destroyed Trump. He would have won. But what what the what happened was not only did we find out that Bernie Sanders was ripped off and did nothing about it, and when when finally we got to the convention of 2016, the uh, Democratic convention. We we were we were thrown under the bus, basically locked out of the building, and and you know it was it was a horrible, um, unforgettable act of terrorism by the Democratic Party on what was then called the progressive wing of the Democratic Party. Now that's a lot there, right? So 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 you know, and then what do we find out, and what what do we know through WikiLeaks and the the the, someone leaked it out. We still don't know. Maybe it was Seth Rich, the kid that got killed in D.C. Maybe it was. Maybe it wasn't. But somebody definitely leaked out the DNC. Someone was blowing the whistle from the inside and revealed it, right? And what it, what happened? So so the, you can't in 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 America. Here you have Obama saying our elections are integral and 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 it's impossible to rig an election. And meanwhile, it was happening in front of our eyes. So. You have to you have to cover for the president. What do you do? You send in all the agencies to say it was a hack. They invented a story. It was Russia, Russia, Russia. Russia was never an enemy before this. Now Russia is not an enemy. Russia is a competitor, and and pretty much indifferent in the whole thing. You you know. But but uh, but you have to pin it on somebody because you can't accept that blame for blowing an election. So you got to blame Russia. And we saw that that how how exactly they did it by getting into the computer systems and creating the illusion that there was a hack, not a not a leak, right? Using Guccifer and and we, we see that the FBI may looks like they are in fact they covered 
the crime all the way to the top. You saw Loretta, Loretta Lynch cover. You saw James Comey, the, the the FBI cover. Now we're seeing, you know, the, the we're seeing the minute, the real details of the scam, which was, which was, it looks like An Andy McCabe, the the then deputy director of the FBI, was actually leading the charge to cover for Hillary Clinton's crimes, housing, you know, special access program on an unencrypted outside server, all of these things, right, that we know about, right? She was doing all, laundering money through the Clinton Foundation. They created a foundation that was quid pro quo, meaning that you pay us, or you don't pay us, but you make a donation into the Clinton Foundation, and then we give you a favor. Very well documented. There's no, there's no escaping this. This is not conjecture or theory anymore. Now it's factual. So that brings us to 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 on uh, now while all this is going on, there's Trump on the other side, rallying the troops, rallying the ignorant masses. Now, I was not a, again. I was not. A, I was not. I, I did not vote for Trump. I was not a fan of Trump. I voted for Jill Stein. Now you can laugh. Go ahead, laugh. Have your moment. <laughs> oh, he was jerk off. This jerk off wearing his grandmother's hat needs a haircut. I. I voted for Jill Stein not because I thought Jill Stein was going to win, but I voted for the, the 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 idea of a new Green Deal. Now Bernie Sanders talked about a new deal, which was FDR's idea to save a floundering economy, which is what we need right now. Right? He was right. Bernie was right on the policy. He just didn't have the muscle or the you know the sheer testicles like Trump does to push his his view and and lead. Right, and Bernie's even said you can look at videos that he didn't he didn't want to be a leader. That's not that's not then don't step up to the plate. You know, find the candidate and back the candidate. That would have been the the better approach for Bernie Sanders. Run as you know and be the vice president. It would be nice if you had Bernie Sanders right now in in in, in the in the president in the vice president seat. Uh, so. So again, this is just my political rant. Bear with me. And I think that, look, Trump. There's not the idea that there's going to be a that they're building a wall around America is going to keep the drugs out and and the the, the criminals out and the, all that. You know, look, Mexican. If you live in New York City, you know that there's a, an incredible population of. South American immigrants that come into the country and they work for they work off the books for for far less uh, than than even the minimum wage right and it's not that it's not their fault they come in they get in and then they and it, whose fault is it? it's the employers that hire them you have to enforce those laws Trump's Mr. Enforcement well enforce that we're going to bring law and order back well where's the fucking law and order you're not the law and order is not is it's not in it's not at the bottom it's at the top that's where we need the law and order right so right now you know what do we have we have an under trump we have an economy that's based on you know it's based on a prison industrial complex it's based on a military industrial complex it's based on a pharmaceutical you know, industrial complex. These are the things that make money. Keep people poor. They'll commit crimes. They'll take our drugs, right? They'll go into the rehabs. They'll 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 uh, keep the courts busy. Everybody makes money, right? You know, start a war abroad. The industrial military industrial complex make make money on the bombs and the guns and the planes, right? This is the thing that Sanders and the, the 50 million people that were behind him. We're saying, and we're still saying it. You know, I, I want to talk about just in brief. Look, the, my, yeah, I want to read off my heroes, right? T, Tim Black, you know, is. A, I'm just going to read them. You know, go through my my the people that are still making a case, right? For this, so still making a case. We don't all all agree. We all agree on on the 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 the, the, the insane level of corruption 
in the United States government, in Congress, the spy ring, the Awan brothers, the, the, the quid pro quo with politicians that they all they do, they, they answer to the donors, they fuck you to the people, right? And they're careerists, they work their way up the ladder and then they systematically turn their back on the people and turn their back, they turn their face to the donors and take the money and then suddenly they go quiet and you say, what the hell just happened? Look, you can, you, you can think that, that money doesn't have an influence, but money is the all-powerful influence, right? It's like what T Mike Tyson said. Mike Tyson said, he said, everyone has a, a, everyone has a, a plan until they get punched in the face. Right, that's Mike Tyson, greatest fighter in the world. Right, but in 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 politics, everyone has a an ambition. Everyone has a view and a vision for the future of America. Everyone has a politic until somebody hands them a million dollars. Right, okay, that's my quote. Right? That's my quote for the day. Everyone has a. Everyone takes a stand until they get handed a million dollars. It changes everything. Money, money changes everything. That's the point, right? So all of this, 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 you know, you could get a hard on over your three hundred dollars or six hundred dollars or a thousand dollars that Trump is going to give you the tax break, but you could guarantee that the corporations are still bleeding out of the top. They're taking all the wealth. They're sucking all the wealth out of the top of the country, stashing it in, in tax havens, Panama, C Cayman Islands, Luxembourg, Ireland, right? And and that that wealth will never hit the real economy. It doesn't hit the real economy until you take the money out of politics, right? you got to term limits, okay? You got to fix the political problem, the pe the money grabbers, the people that are empowered, the Senate and the Congress that are empowered to create the laws to stop the bleeding, right? You have to enforce it when you catch them doing it, right? Overturn Citizens United. When you catch them taking money, you have to you have to prosecute them. When corporations evade tax, you change the laws to make it so that they can't use these havens to take their money and 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 hold it and not pay tax on it, hold it outside of the country or in a tax haven, not pay tax. You have to you have to enforce it. You have to handcuff them, right? When they break SEC laws, Wall Street breaks these laws. You have to handcuff them and you have to take them away, right? If you don't prosecute, nothing happens. You see what Hillary Clinton. You saw what happened when the top, you know, invest and get investigators turn their back. On, on the corruption, right? It just continues. It doesn't. There's no end to it. So you have to become. So if you can, if you can stop the bleeding at the top, if you could stop of all the corporate profits from leaving the country, right? Then you you create a a, a you, you create wealth. That wealth stays in the country, and the people, the American people you know Americans will enjoy that wealth that's the point of a of a of a healthy economy it's not income and everybody these people have all the money and all the power and they're going to tell all these 99% of the people what to do if you believe that then I, I don't I don't see how you believe in 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 um in 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 the American way of equality and 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 equal opportunity and any of those things? How can you possibly believe in that when you when you're supporting uh, corporate welfare and 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 all the benefits go to the corporations, thinking that they're going to someday reciprocate? So it's, it's a lie, right? So uh, I, I I know this is long, but whatever. J Tim Black, I love Tim Black. I, I watch Tim Black. I just want to talk about some of the people that I pay attention to online, and I think you should too. Because, like, I'll give you an example. Like, my mother says says to me, says, well, where do you find out your news? Because she's gaslighted. She she watches CNN and MSNBC. And she believes that, she believes the story that Russia, you know, colluded. <laughs> they love that word. Collusion is whatever. You know what it means. You're a smart person. Collusion with the Russians. They were involved in stealing the election and favoring Trump and da ba 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 And it's... Trump Jr. and Paul Manafort and General Flynn and these are all fake stories, right? They're, they're all they have nothing to do with 
the reason why the Democrats lost, which was Hillary Clinton was a horribly corrupt, horrible individual who lost the, uh, the election because she rallied the DNC to stick a knife in Bernie's back. That's why she lost. They lied, they cheated, they st stole from the top all the way down to the bottom, from the President Obama all the way down to the state level. They, they stole an election, and we caught them, even, even the deep state FBI, CIA. That's the reason, right? My mother will say, well, then where do you get your news? That's what I'm going to tell you. I'm going to tell you where I get my news. I watch YouTube, right? I watch people like, for the third time, I'm going to say his name, Tim Black. I just did a piece, and I, I didn't like the way he handled Donna Brazil. I thought, I, I believe in, look, I'm not a, I don't believe in reaching across the aisle anymore. I think that's, that's the old way of working. Uh, negotiating with these people, don't, 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 don't do that. Don't do that. Just ignore them. At best, ignore them, or or speak openly about them. That woman came on Tim's show and lied and cheated and expects us all to, to swallow it. That's what I say to you. So there's Jason Goodman here in New York. He's the crowdsource uh, crowdsource the truth uh, leader, and he was with George Webb. Who really, I mean, George Webb is one of the reasons why a lot of that side of the community came together. George Webb is a, you know, independent investigative journalist. He's he's leading the story in, um, leading the uh, the story in the Yuan Brothers down in, in uh, the, the the spying in Congress with Debbie Wasserman Schultz. Uh, he's leading that corruption. He very 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 knowledgeable guy. I recommend George Webb and Jason. Jason is takes more of a bigger picture, a very smart guy. I did an interview with Jason. You can watch that one. And then there's H.A. Goodman, who is, for the last... Look, H.A. Goodman, you could hate H.A. Goodman, call him Uncle Fester, call him whatever you want. But H.A. Goodman has been 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 in ahead of the game and in the game way before the, you know, before the 2016 election, about a full year beforehand. And I respect him. I, I mean, he, he says the same thing over and over again. He... I believe he's now ha has an invested interest in, in proving that Hillary Clinton, you know, stole the election. But again, we already know it, and you know, the indictments are imminent. I, I don't know. Well, anyway, then there's uh, New Blood uh, Sticks Hexenhammer six six six, the Satanist from Vermont. <laughs> Very smart guy. I enjoy listening to him. He's he's, um, you know, unusually in, uh, uh, receptive. Right? I. I mean, he claims to be, you know, Republican or not even a Republican, but he, his his values are are more in line with a conservative, fiscal conservative, socially liberal, whatever those things. The terms don't even make sense anymore. Liberal, conservative, right wing, left wing, middle, independent, progressive. None of it makes sense anymore. None of it means anything. That's why we have to keep talking about it. You got to keep listening to people like these. To, to we have to redefine the political who are we you know who are we what what, what do we stand for who, who what what politics do we agree on right because I'm in a lot of different groups and I talk to a lot of different people and I I don't I realize that politically we agree on some issues like we got to get rid of the corruption we all agree on that but in terms of the stuff that that, that I'm talking about today which is you know, fiscal policy in terms of taxes and 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 um, prosecution of of people who violate those rules we fundamentally disagree so what who else do I watch uh, uh, Tim I mean the last of the young jerks I mean the the, the fun Turks so. the only holdout which is uh, Jimmy Dore and uh, I, I love Jimmy Dore you can watch the Jimmy Dore show he he, he goes to the big picture he's not a he was a Bernie Sanders supporter. He's not a, a, a uh, you know, supporter of the Young Turks and the, the, the just us Democrats. Right? You know, he's, he, he believes in burning down the house, also a Jill Stein supporter. I'm not a Jill Stein supporter. I'm a, a, I believe, I don't like, I didn't like the vice president. I thought he was kind of a, you know, had, had that, that tone of racism in him, you know, like, I don't. I didn't like him. I didn't. Uh, Obama, Jama, Obama, Mama, whatever his name was. But I believed in the Green Party's um, platform because there was nothing else. Who else? Uh, Tracy Beans did some good work in the past. I'm not really a big fan of that. 
Same progressive. God damn, Debbie Lucigna. You know, full throated. <laughs> you know, on the record, full throat um, uh, uh, testimony on a you know regular basis. Definitely watch. Um, she doesn't do much. She seems to have been under cyber attack on YouTube, so she doesn't do much in terms of uh, YouTube these days. Another guy destroyed the illusion, kind of rising star. Uh, I think his name is Jordan. He does a little chalkboard thing that keeps everybody uh, up to date on everything. I don't want to miss anybody. I, I, I subscribe to uh, WikiLeaks TV. That's somebody, I don't know who puts that out. Um, you know, and there's others. You know, there's there, there, there used to be Lee Camp, but I don't really have a feed for him, so I'm not really sure what he's doing anymore. I stay away from... You know, I, I used to follow the Young Turks. I don't, I fundamentally, you know, disagree with the direction that the Young Turks take. I think that they, they, it's, it's the example that I talked about before. Everyone has a view and everyone has an idea until somebody handles, hands you a million dollars. And that's, I believe, what happened with the Young Turks. They're, 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 they're so, so adamant of try, trying to prove that Trump is stupid and incompetent. Trump is not stupid. Trump is not incompetent. I just disagree with his policies. I don't think he, I don't think he understands the plight of the 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 ninety nine percent right now. I don't think he understands it. I don't think he's ever understood it. And I think Bernie Stand Bernie Sanders did understand it. And Bernie Sanders l laid the platform for real change. You know. Universal health care, $15 minimum wage, raise that minimum wage, get the money out of politics. You have to take, you've got to get the money out of politics, right? You've got to enforce the laws, break the banks up, break them up. There's, there's too much power consolidated in one place. The, the vast income inequality will never change unless you uh, address those things. And they're big things. They're really, those are really big things. Got to get the money out of politics. So that's all for me today. Thank you for watching.